So welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still a bit groggy and a bit warm. So I'm just going to do this uh, passenger side uh, electric window swap out. It's pretty self-explanatory. Follow the wires, put these on the outside, up to the locking thing. We take the speaker out, drop the loom in, try get the handheld uh, winder out, fit the electric one, and uh, we'll do the mirror, and we should be good to go. So I'll just show you though what other bits because somebody had asked me yesterday what what other bits do you need? Well, obviously you need the switches and the motors. You don't need the glass because the glass has got the hole in for the original winder, so that's all right. But what you do need, I'll turn the you might not be able to see, but see these relays up here. This top one probably be missing. And if there's wires in that, because that's like a multi-block of wires, so when they built these vans, they must have just put. Um, if you have electric wheels, I wanted them. It was already piped in, wired in for them, should I say. And uh, you added the relay and the switchy kit. So, if that's got the wires in the multi block at the back, then uh, shove your relay in there. And you need that pink relay. I think it's any five star relay, you probably do it. Um, so, yeah, that, that that's what you need as well. So, somebody asked me about how would I know if I've got windows. And. Uh, I'm replying to this chap, so it's that there, and the rest of it is all I did. I put that in the previous videos. Um, dashboard out, so I just plugged it in, but I didn't have time to do the windows. God, it's warm today. Soon be snowing, won't it? Right, so let's get. So I get this. Uh, you can see that all right there. On the back of it. Still also you need your, your door cards as well, don't you? So, yeah, so just connect that. That's a multi-clip, there's a multi-clip. Fish things out, like that. Like that. This clip in this corner here, This clip here, it's just lift it up like that, all the way up, slide it out like that. So I think it'll push the grommet out from the door and push it that way. Like that. Speaker, got about that. Screwdriver in it. Two seconds, I get a screwdriver. Yep. So these are little space I had to make for my speakers. So these are 16 speakers. Oh, we're doing this. They didn't quite fit in the door, so I drew around the original speakers. I have a bit of 9mm pl mil ply. And then uh, screwed these two. I had to chop a bit of the door out to make them fit. But it's not a show van by any means, is it? So it's been, they're all right, these speakers, to be fair. I think like 30 quid or something like that, so... <laughs> Not that I did have some Hertz ones, they were really good, really like them, they were nice then. But this van, at the minute, there's uh, too much going on. Just connect these. Right. Pop that from there. That's the loom for the passenger side. So what you'll find is if you haven't got anything at all in your van, no no relay box, no now. What I did was, like I said in my other videos, I chopped the loom out of another van. I stripped out the part for the electric wires with a live and new live and earth on it. And I made the windows work on the floor, you know, just by powering it up. And then what I did was 
I use these these clips, not these ones, these clips on the original on the loom that the electric window looms on the floor. I snipped about that much wire off it that was for the central door, central locking. So them three wires and your speaker wires. So them five wires that are on the loom from the one you fit in with the wires for the for the electric windows, you need to splice them into these pins with about that much wire on them and work out which five from that loom goes to these five on here and then you kind of hardwiring that loom into your older van's loom, if you know what I mean. Because you want your speakers still to work, which is two and three for your central door lockings or whatever it is. Three, there's three locking wires on there. So you've got to get them five wires onto these pins though. So to do it really, you want to take the dash out. And if you've seen my other videos, you'll see the dashboard out. If I can do it, I've got a loom on the floor here from a previous video. And you can see what I'm doing. So I'll get this video done and we'll test these windows. And then I'll show you on that loom on the floor. I'll work out what, what you need to chop out, yeah? Because somebody's just asked me that, so if you can't do it at all with this setup, um, how do you do it? It is a ball, it is a bit of a ball, like, because you've got to, oh, you get an aftermarket kit, or an auto electrician a bit to do it, you know what I mean? So, but I, I managed to do it, and I'm not too bad with wiring, so I, I managed to work it out. So let's get this, uh, let's get this wretched thing out of here. These can be quite tricky, some of these to get out. Some are, so behind here there's a little yellow tab, it always breaks, it's brittle, so I have to, I have to put that in the window, pull it down, put that in there, yeah it snaps, typically, it's there look, so that loops, that would that loops on the thing and then bends up the back, you've got to keep that off, or you might get one of your windows, but don't throw that away because you've got to clip it back on, I'll show you, or you, you know you've got to push it on the back of the window, so let's try and get these out of here. Give it a go. There we go, so plan this. I wonder if it might be better just doing it with window half down. Let's have a look. What I'm going to try, what I'm trying to do is just tease the glass away from that connector. No matter, you can push it back up, can't we? Can be tricky these. Uh, don't don't force. Don't get don't get annoyed with it. Once you get it away from it, like that. Yeah, so I've got that down there halfway, halfway, and it gives me a bit of, a bit of spring on the, on this and that to get the bolts out. Push the window back up. Right, that doesn't matter about that for a minute, does it? We're going to get this wretched thing out of here now. It can be tricky, these. It can be. It can't go down. Because there's a, like a, a, a brace that runs across there. It's got to come out the top through these notches here. Watch. He says. Do that. Puzzle, bit of trick puzzle trickery. So that little tab that I pulled off, snapped off, sits on there. So the glass goes on there and that goes behind it to hold it in. <clears throat> so we don't need that anymore. 
at last. These aren't too are bad. So these are, can you see that it's broken that one as well and I took it off the van. So I'll just take that off. This one's only three bolts on this one. There's five on the other one, so don't worry about that. Drop that in there. I need to bring the glass back down a bit. I never tried it this way. Put the glass in first into the little peg and then uh, now let's just push the glass to the top. In there, put them in there. We won't do them up too tight. We might need to wiggle them around to get the glass in. So don't force it. You can get a bit. Of, you can push it a bit with glass, but if you smash it, you've had it. Don't waste it. Just lower it down to there. Watch your fingers. I've already cut myself. Just keep going. Right. So what I'm trying to do is just push that glass away and then force it onto that clip. So that's locked on there, so just it might be better to do it down here if you can, but my motor's stuck there. So if you've got this set up and it's working, maybe wind your window down to the bottom of the door where there's a bit more spring in it, because obviously there's quite a bit of tension there to there, so down here it's gonna it's gonna bend more in it. I've got mine on, so that's that. Uh, now we feed this loom in, obviously a lot more wires on this one, so feed it this way. I've always done it this way, you might want to do it a different way, but it's up to you. Let's get that round there. This thing round there. There for the note and the speakers. We've got an electric moat window for this side, but we don't have one for the driver's side, but never mind. Just get one from somewhere. Speak right there. Look. Like a proper modern car now, what? With electric windows. That's that in there. Set, put this up the same way. Put that clip up like that. Tease it onto that clip there. Lock it in. It's still on good. It looks like that went on there in the original van. That can stay on there. That's going to go up to a mirror, which we've got for here, I'll fit it if, if, if you want to do it. Put that on there. That can go somewhere. That must go there. Uh, it goes on there. That can go in there. That can go in there. That's just that red clippy tab. That can go on there. Goes in there. So yeah, that, does that go there? I think that goes. We'll say I think that I think that goes there. I can't remember. It's on there. So cut the speaker wire. 
it has disappeared to. Which is it. Yeah. Join it off with another loom. Do it about the way on this, it's all going to come off yet again. Because we're doing the other stuff, so. Worry about it. There's no proper soldering up and everything for these, but we'll just connect them up for a minute. Just want to get it working. And, uh, not ideal, I know, but it works. So if you're liking this channel and like the little jobs I'm doing in my van, that, that's really great. If you're new to the channel and look through all my videos, there might be some on there that interests you that I'm doing or I've done. Uh, if you do like stuff, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to follow me even more, uh, if you want to subscribe, that'll be mint as well. So, it's always nice to see people. I've helped somebody out somewhere with a van or anything else I'm doing. I need to do a lot of, a lot of all sorts on my channel. We are going to do some stuff with some vans. Uh, hopefully, later on we'll get a bit more space at home. I'll try to get a big project if I can on a van. A lot of people do projects on uh, cars and stuff, but... I fancy doing a quite good project on the van if I get a chance. So don't forget, put that on. Which uh, the eagle eyed people probably thought I'd forgot, which I had. Otherwise the wind is going to drop out, which would be very good, would it? Yeah, I'm thinking with vans. I've thought I've been doing YouTube channel, YouTube videos. Thought, what 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 could you do to a van differently? And I'm thinking maybe stick a different engine in a van. Something I've never done. Um, I've owned a lot of Audi TTs in my time. Uh, they're pretty quick cars, them as well, to be honest. So I'm I'm thinking. Maybe if there's one out there smashed up with a runner with a van engine in it, they can get a bit of, get a bit more power out of a van engine van uh, TT. So maybe put a TT engine into a van, strip the van out, and uh, maybe make a track van out of it and stick it to death. Tinker time on it, YouTube on it, all that carry on. You know, I've no sponsors or anything like that, so I just stick it up and I would feel fit. Again, once I've wrapped this, <laughs> if I can wrap it, we'll uh, could wrap that as well. I don't know, it's, it's just a thought. I don't think a motorbike engine would go in a van. I don't think, even though the bikes I have, I had a, 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 like 190 horse, 200 horse and 180 mat. I don't think there's enough, the clutch and stuff would be to take it in a van. It's too heavy. So maybe we go down a bigger route of a, van, a car engine into a van, completely strip it out. Um, Make it as light as possible, chop all this out of the doors, everything. Get rid of all the interior apart from like a driver's seat. Uh, chop all the strength out of the back of the van. I don't know. It's just, just something I keep thinking about. Maybe maybe should do it. Um, so if you think that's a good idea, stick it in comments. A bit of a weird one when we're fitting electric windows, but uh, I don't know. Just thought I mentioned it. So yeah. Put 
trim back on. There you go. Right, get this out of here. So you need to undo that. There's a, te there's a 10 mil in there. And the cap on this side out here, there's a 10 mil. One ball. Now these mirrors shouldn't drop out of here. He's saying that because they're kind of hooked in. So when I take the bolts out, you don't have to grab it. I knew that had happened. I knew that I'd drop in there. Look, it's there. I knew that had happened. Hang on a sec. Gadget. I know the mirror won't drop out. These nuts do, but they, they fall off your socket. And they drop into bomb at door. Oh, this a few times. And they're really difficult to get out because the little crease at the bottom of down you can't get you can see it but you can't get there we go just put my hand in there should I because you can't hardly get to it so there's a nut for that so I kind of hooked on of these right. this off to show you it's a little like a little hook there so your mirror can't fall off if you're taking it off so don't worry about that we'll keep that for when somebody smashes this one off there's a bit of a clean but we'll solve that all later on it doesn't matter about seeing that being clean is it push the, chop the wire up through there and there we go On there. Try not to drop it now. You've got to keep really still when you do that because it falls off your socket, you've had it. Again. Yeah, some people don't bother with electric windows near the side, but we've got it, I might as well put it on. Just get on there. Right, so that's that done. We get the switch, which is here. Uh, we'll plug it in. Uh, I'll, I'll go to the other side, I'll put a switch in and uh, I'll come back around this side and I'll op operate and see if it all works. Alright, just two seconds around the other side. Around the other side at the minute, get the kitchen on. So guys, let's have a look. Let's tilt this up here so you can see. 
does it work for a bonus point? There we go. I've now got 21st century windows in my van. It does help when you're driving to have them both working, but I'm really pleased with them. Seem pretty smooth. Might just spray a bit of oil on cables, because these cables can sometimes snap, they get stressed and snapped. So I'll lube them up as well. Dog card goes on the same way I took it off, which you saw me do that. Um, so yeah, driver side one's exactly the same. It's just a bit same sort of wiring, but you just got obviously a switch to put in there. Runs kind of mass, runs kind of the same way. Um, so yeah, same same motor and everything, just off the side. Right, we've wrapped up with that one, and I've answered that lad's question that that messaged me yesterday. Um, great, no worries. Uh, anybody else got any questions on anything I've done or got? Um, what do you think about another project with a van instead of doing cars like people do? Like, like maybe trick a van up. Uh, if you watch this to the end, you'll obviously uh, maybe comment. So yeah, great stuff. Like, subscribe if you would. I'd really much appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next one, folks.